people often say that modern China, um, uh, Mao started modern China. You know, he may have done many awful things, but he turned China into a modern society. Not so. The person who turned China, a medieval China, into a modern society was Empress Dowager Cixi. Cixi was born in 1835 and of Beijing of those days with camels and so on. And um, when she was 16 years old, she, <clears throat> she went through one of those periodic nationwide um, selections for imperial consorts. And like hundreds of girls from all over China, she was paraded in front of the emperor um, and, was, and became one of his concubines, a low rank concubine, and this is her husband. Now, in 1860, the British and the French invaded Beijing because they wanted more trade. The emperor wouldn't allow them. They wanted the door of China to be open. The emperor wouldn't allow them. And so they came to Beijing, and they burned down the old summer palace, Yuan Mingyuan. Now, Cixi's husband then fled with the court to beyond the Great War. He was so heartbroken by the burning of the old summer palace. He refused to return to Beijing, and he died in self-imposed exile in the northern wilderness beyond the, great, um, beyond the Great War. Now, he had only one child, one son, his son with Cixi. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> now this is uh, this is um, not their song. <laughs> this is this is uh, 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 one of the ancestors of the Pekingese dog, and she's called the Luti. You know, when the British broke into the old summer palace, they found an, an imperial elderly imperial concubine who didn't flee with the court, and it, it, he, she had died of fright. And around her body were these five Pekingese dogs, and they were brought back by the British, and uh, they started to be bred in, from Britain. Um, and now this, this particular dog, Lutie, was presented to Queen Victoria. And Queen Victoria asked uh, her to be painted. And this is from Queen, the, the Queen's archives. And Queen Victoria specifically said Lutie must be painted next to something to show how extraordinarily small she was.